Welcome back to Zach's Garage. We are back on the Bayliner boat restoration as you can see behind me. And what we're going to be working on today is the seat cushions for up here in the bow of the boat. Alright, we've got our first seat cushion piece right here. And you can see the vinyl looks alright. It definitely is a bit dirty so we're going to need to clean this off. But wait till you see the back of it. Whoo! Man, look at that. This bad boy here needs some love. Let me tell you. So the first thing I'm going to do with this piece is remove all of the staples that are in it. So then I can try to get the vinyl upholstery uh, taken off of the foam pad and what's left of the wood. Not much, but that's what we're going to get to do first. So I finished getting the foam pieces out of the upholstery and I got them cleaned off. There is a little bit of the old wood residue left on the back that's just kind of stuck on there. But that's perfectly alright. As you can see on the fabric, there's actually a divider that goes down the middle here. And the foam split into two pieces and so was the wood. And that's so that you're able to tuck in the middle part to pull it down to give it more of a shape for the cushion. So that's kind of interesting so we'll need to cut out two pieces of wood for our new seat. So the next thing I'm going to do now is go ahead and wash off the vinyl upholstery with just a sponge and water and then see how it looks after that. I'm a lot like you, pictures in my room, people I once knew, and hearts I can't untangle from. Alright, so you can see we got it pretty cleaned up now. The camera might even make it look a little bit better than it actually is. There are still some stained spots and faded areas here and there. And then on the back here, you can see some more stained areas as well. So what I'm going to do now is take it one step further, but instead of using bleach like I did last time, I'm going to use super clean. Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser. I've actually never used Super Clean before, but they reached out to me and sent me a box of their products to try out, so I figured I'd go ahead and do that and share the results with you guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and spray it directly onto the area. And then let that soak in for just a second. And it says on the instructions not to let it dry on the material. So I'm going to come back through and wipe this up. And you can see it's taking some of that stain away. But then you also want to come back with some water to clean it up. And rinse it out. Thank you. 
Now this time I'm going to try applying it to the paper towel and then applying that to the cushion. Alright, so now that we've got this piece cleaned up pretty good, I think it's time to go ahead and cut out the new plywood to go over the foam pieces. So I'm just going to put the foam straight down on the wood and trace it out like that. Then we'll cut it out, then I'll coat it with resin. I know one of you guys did suggest using Red Guard, and I did consider that, but it is. Red Guard's still pretty expensive and ends up being about the same cost as polyester resin. So, since I already have the poly resin, I'm just going to go ahead and use that to water coat the wood after we cut it out. It's not going to fully waterproof it, but it gives it some water resistance. So I'm going to go ahead and get these traced out, cut out the wood, sand it down, and then coat it with some resin. But there's nowhere left to hide long A masquerade with the lights on Ooh. It's a feeling that I can't explain Don't look down, everything will be fine for you now And Don't look down, everything will be fine for you now So while we have these pieces drying over here, or hardening I should say, I'm going to go ahead and get the next piece out right there and start working on it. Boy, we got a lot of work to do here. I ended up letting the resin on the two pieces of wood finish hardening overnight and when I went to see how they fit in the cushion the next day they were actually a little bit too big so I ended up having to cut a bit off of one of the corners. Alright so I got the piece back in after making that adjustment and it seems to be a little bit better now. 
I think that might just be how I leave it. But now the downside is now I've got this exposed end of plywood that I'm gonna need to coat up with resin but I don't want to do just a tiny little batch just for this one part so I'm gonna wait on this to finish coating this in resin when I coat uh, the other wood pieces I'm gonna cut out in resin for the other seat cushion. So let's go ahead and get the other seat cushion put over here. All right, so we got our second seat cushion here. And one thing I was noticing, I went ahead and put the foam pieces back in, uh, is that in the corners, the foam pieces are definitely compressed from right there. So now with this one, what I think I'll do is, while tracing it out, I'm just going to uh, come in on the corners and not cut all the way out to where they go. So that that way, It'll fit a little better right off the bat. All right, so let me go ahead and I'll take the foam pieces out, put it up on the plywood, trace it out and cut it out. And hopefully it fits a little better than the first one. You can see this time the wood is cut out a little closer in on the corners here to help with getting it to size up because this will be compressed when it's in the cushion or the upholstery that is. So now that looks pretty good. I think it should fit. Alright, so we got this piece in there and it fits pretty good, a lot better than the other one. But I think part of that's because this is just one piece. Whereas with this one, there was two pieces divided up because there's this part in the middle that you pull in order to give it more contour to pull on where they have this piping seam at. But honestly, I'm liking the way this one is a lot more. And it doesn't make that big of a difference here. I think it'd be perfectly fine just to have it like that. So that might just be what I go ahead and do is use it just like that as one piece instead of divide it up as two on this one. Now I'll probably just go ahead and leave this one since I already did all that work for it. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have them to compare doing it as one wood piece versus two with the piping held down and just see how they hold up and how they uh, feel after that. So I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and coat this piece with resin. And when I do that, I'll go ahead and also uh, put some more resin on this piece where we had cut off or rounded off the corner a little more. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So we have given these pieces some time to dry and they are good to go. So I think I'm actually going to start with this one and get it stapled on to the upholstery and see how that cushion turns out. There you go. 
I think it turned out pretty good. Honestly, this is still a really nice seat cushion for being as old as it is. And I did not use nearly as many staples as they used the first time. And I still think it's going to hold really well. And if it doesn't, I can always add more staples. Well, there's only one way to tell if this seat cushion's going to get the job done right. Or rather, if I got it done right. And that's to test it out. So that's what we're going to try now. That's pretty good. It does sink in a little, but I think that's just how they are. It's got a nice good cushion on it. Definitely beats sitting on raw wood. Huh. Let me tell ya. So now we're going to try to do the other seat cushion with two pieces of wood instead of just one and see how that turns out next. got both cushions with the wood put back in all stapled up and I gotta say on uh, the one with two pieces I did not like this one as much as I liked the one with just one wood piece honestly this one turned out perfectly fine without that and having it as one wood piece instead of two logistically makes it easier to put together so I like the one wood more. All right, so now let's go ahead and put these seat cushions into the boat. All right, well, we got them in the boat. Now you might think it looks kind of funny because we still don't have the backs of the seats in, but that is what we're gonna be doing next. Let me tell you, it's nice to finally have some seats up here. <sighs> this ain't too bad. We already got sort of, I mean, this is kind of the back cushion right here, if you're looking this way anyways. So, I mean, it's not too bad with it how that is. This just means you got easy access to your water chest or your ice chest you bring. I am pretty happy with these seat cushions. Let me try both ones. Ah, yeah, that is excellent. But that is where we are going to end today's episode. If you guys enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to see what happens next, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because coming up, the next thing we're going to do in the boat is get the backs to these seats put back in here. Also have one more cushion to work on here. So we're going to be doing that too. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.